What's going on everybody? My name is Mitchell Skellinger and uh, the story I'm about to share with you is about a Martin Mac 250 Plus. If you don't know what that is, go Google it because it's awesome. So the first moving light I ever dealt with was a Martin Mac 250 Plus. It was in high school. Um, we never had moving lights in the theater and when I was about a sophomore in high school I'd say we, we were up in the catwalk doing something and there was there was a moving light in the catwalk. Nobody told us it was coming. Nobody knows how it got there, but sure enough, there's a Martin Mac 250 Plus moving light in the catwalk. So this became our new obsession, me and my, my theater friends. And, uh, and we knew nothing about moving lights. We didn't know how to program them. We didn't know, you know, we knew what they were, but we didn't know anything beyond that. So, so it became our new obsession. How can we make this do this? How can we make a gobo pop into it? How can we, you know, mark the fixture. That was a challenge for us. We had a, a Strand 300 series theatrical lighting console in our, our high school theater, which is not a moving light console by any means. And uh, so we had to learn, you know, how, how do we get the queue to come in in red with a gobo in it without rolling through those parameters in the queue prior. So we, you know, it taught us moving in black, marking, things like that. Um, but the biggest battle we had with this fixture it wasn't the fixture itself it was the theater teachers who never liked us to physically put this light anywhere else and this story always just sticks out to me because we would you know we'd want to put the moving light upstage center let's say and do some cool gobo aerial stuff or put it on the floor and just experiment with it in these different plays we were doing and every time we would physically move this fixture we would get in so much trouble one day me and my buddies went up to move the light somewhere else and there was a sticky note on top of the light that said do not move me Mitch Evan and company Evan was my buddy and it, me and my little theater crew would always be moving stuff and changing stuff and it, it became this like battle between me and my friends and the theater teachers on why we could not move this moving light and it wasn't just the moving light it was the smart light everybody referred to it as the smart light which they could because there was only one of them but that was my first ever experience with a panning and tilting moving head fixture. So Martin Mac 250 Plus. I loved it. It was great. And uh, that's one of my earliest memories of Martin. So uh, thanks, Brad. Thanks, everybody at Martin for having me. Um, letting me share my, my early story of uh, Mac 250 Plus. And hope to see you all soon. Take care, everybody.